Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another monthly book haul. It is the start of February 2024 and I have a whole ton of books. Let's get started. Dane reads. All right, so the first one of these is a Bayou Magazine issue 78. Um, I know very little about this. This must be another one of the magazines. Back in the day, I was submitting a lot of work to literary magazines. It's actually how I ended up winning, uh, getting a shortlisted honorable mention in the Writer's Digest 92nd Annual Writing Competition. My uh, certificate for that's up there. That's why I was looking up to see when it was. Um, but yes, as part of that, I also just submitted to a bunch of literary magazines and um, some of them send like um, you know issues out to me as we go along so uh, I believe this one it probably cost me like $30 to submit and then they send me a book every three to six months or whatever so uh, yes issue 78 2023 Bayou magazine a literary journal published in New Orleans very cool jambalaya on the bayou Okay, and then I have a ton of Dr. Seuss books. He's one of those authors I want to eventually read everything that he ever did, but it's, it's kind of hard to track down his books, and they're actually, they're quite expensive to get individually. So uh, instead, what I tend to do is every now and then when I see a job lot of them on eBay or wherever, is I, uh, I scoop them up. So I have a whole bunch of these here. I'm gonna read the ones that I haven't read, and then I might give them to my friend Fran for her kid Hugo, although he's, four now I don't know if four is too old for Dr. Seuss I don't know who knows well it can't be because I'm fucking 34 anyway so these are all Dr. Seuss we have scrambled egg super which I always thought was scrambled egg supper not very vegan either one fish two fish red fish a blue fish the cat in the hat if I ran the circus how the Grinch stole Christmas Horton hears a who Dr. Seuss's Sleep Book. Dr. Seuss on the Loose, a collection of rip-roaring rhymes from the Master of Verse. If I Ran the Zoo, didn't didn't we just have this? Oh no, we just had If I Ran the Circus. The Cat in the Hat comes back. Hop on Pop. The Sneetches and Other Stories. Green Eggs and Ham. Hunches and Bunches. Dr. Seuss's ABC. Uh, I had trouble in getting to Sola Solu. Uh, and to think that I saw it on Mulberry Street. And Mr. Brown can moo, can you? So I'm not gonna try and moo because it's 25 past three in the morning and I'm a, you know, still up because I'm a night owl. But yes, that's the little selection that I got. I think I've probably read about 30 to 40% of those. It'll just be nice to tick off some more Dr. Seuss. And let's be honest, it helps me to get off to a good start on my Goodreads uh, reading challenge or, or whatever. So, hey. Well, I only have one book for you today. That is The Emerald Wand of Oz by Sherwood Smith. So this is one of the more recent new Oz books. I wonder if it's got a publication date. Uh, 2005. So, um, yeah. I'm excited to read this to see what the more recent Oz takes have been. Basically, the problem that I've been having is that I read all of the public domain Oz books. So up until that point, all the text was in the public domain, so they can be republished, and that means that they're reasonably widely available. And um, now that I've read up to those books, there's like a 70-year gap or whatever between when um, the books, like there's about 20 odd books that went out of print and aren't in the public domain, so haven't been re-released, so they're all super rare and hard to get hold of. And then we have some more recent Oz editions from like the 2000s onwards that are still in print, such as this one. Um, so yes, and this actually came, it was formerly of the Montville Township Public Library in uh, New Jersey, so that's kind of cool. Alrighty, just the one book to uh, show you today. Uh, I didn't mention this, I think in my last haul, I picked up um, Blind Dates with a book. I got one for me and one for my girlfriend. And mine was a classic. And uh, yeah, I opened it and it is Great Expectations by Charles Dickens, which I haven't read. So, uh, result, so get into this soon, probably via audiobook. I'm tired. Uh, I'm back from Paris. I don't even know if I mentioned this in this video that I was going to Paris. But I went to Paris with my beautiful girlfriend, Shay, who is currently dying in my bed. Say hello to the internet, Shay. Hi. There we go. Uh, and while I was in Paris, I, I picked up a whole bunch of French books because I love me a good French book. I mean, I got Asterix Max, issue number 16, numero uh, says, from December 2023. 
Uh, oh god, I don't know what that that is. De mille van toi. Um, and yes, it's just like an Asterix magazine. It has some Asterix stories in it, but also some puzzles and stuff. A few other bits, like what one's this? Uh, the Adventure of Edifix. Okay, so that's like Asterix tie-in. But sometimes it has like other little graphic novels that aren't necessarily part of the Asterix world. Um, it's got some games in it. Yeah, uh, An Adventure of Luke Jr. So yeah, just... Um, Fun little BD, a bon dessinée on um, in French. Uh, it's basically like a, a comic equivalent, I suppose. So I got that. I've read some of those before as well, by the way. I got. Uh, I just picked up L'Incroyable Destin de Gustave Eiffel. Uh, this is just a short little uh, tourist guide on who Gustave Eiffel was. He was the guy who wrote, who created the Eiffel Tower. I got some Agatha Christie's. I got uh, Miss Marple au Club de Mardi, which is. Uh, Miss Marple at the Tuesday Club. Um, I also got Poirot Jeu Le Jeu, um, which means Poirot plays the game. Sorry, Shay. Oh, and I got a, a Chair de Poule novel by R.L. Stein. So this is uh, the the French equivalent of Goosebumps. Uh, Chair de Poule does literally mean Goosebump as well. Um, and this is L'Attaque de Mutant by R.L. Stein. So this is the Attack of the Mutant. Um, and that is the, probably the Goosebumps novel I've read the most. Uh, and probably my favourite, even though I don't like superheroes. I don't know why it's my favourite. It's just great. I picked up this as well. This is uh, Flesh 70 Grul. Uh, so this is 70 arrow words um, in French, obviously. So, Fais la vache to do the cow. I don't know what that means. Chanson à succès, a song of success. No, I don't know what that is either. Um, yeah. Chasta son pay, hunt your country. So I know what the clues mean, I just don't know um, what the answers are. But anyway, Chan Anglais, uh, English chain. It'd be fun to do this, or at least to try it. Let me see if I can find one that I can do. A toi, well, it could be Tom, I guess. Uh, et le reste, that probably is ETC, etc. We oui could be C for yes. So that, you know. It'll be all right. Anyway, uh, I also got Paris. Uh, Caron personnage qui ont fait Paris. Uh, Twenty, uh, forty people who have done Paris. Um, so people who spent time there, basically. Uh, I flicked in at random. I know Jim Morrison was in here. Edith Piaf, uh, Michel Foucault, uh, Georges Pompidou. So yeah, Victor Hugo, Napoleon. Um, Sarah Bernhardt, Marie Curie, Gustave Fell, obviously. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to read some more about those folks. Um, I don't know if this has got an author name, it's just published by Gallimard Jeunesse. Oh, by Jean-Michel Bilieu uh, and Gazhole. We have uh, Fabien Claval, Le Roman Adapté du Célèbre Jeu, Unlock Le Escape Geek, A Chapeau des Catacombs. So this is Escape the Catacombs, um, and it's like... Um, a French uh, choose your own adventure so that's very cool uh, and it's all about escaping the catacombs and I got that from our trip to the catacombs I also got uh, La Cité des Squelettes by Richard Petitsin um, so uh, illustrated by uh, Roman F F Posh couldn't see if that was a P or an F there uh, this is the City of Skeletons just a little kids book uh, we got uh, Les Grands Noms de l'Histoire Manga, uh, and this is Jean d'Arc. Uh, so this is uh, the big names in the history in manga. Uh, this, this is the story of Joan of Arc. And um, who's it by? I guess Makoto Torakaje. That's who drew it. Uh, supervision Masakatsu Adashi. So it's made by Japanese people but translated into French about uh, Joan of Arc, so very cool. And then we got Les Expressions Françaises Expliquées aux Enfants. Um, I don't know if this has got an author name, I don't think it does. Um, but yes, this is French Expressions Explained to Children. So, faire la pluie et le beau temps, so that means to do the rain and the good weather. Um, and it means take every decision. I have a notification for Dane. Wow, oh, okay. So yeah. Jeter de lui sur le feu, to throw oil in the fire, and that means to, you know, aggravate a situation. So yes, that's very cool. And then, just one final thing to show you, this actually just came while, like in the post while I was away. 
This is Beyond the Fall of Night by Arthur C. Clarke and Gregory Benford. So I'm slowly working my way through all of Arthur C. Clarke. All right, folks, just one book to haul for you today. Uh, that is Trouble Under Oz by Sherwood Smith. This is the second in the new Oz books, um, featuring Dorian M. I am excited to get to this because I liked the last one. Uh, there is actually a review coming soonish for that whenever I get my book round to editing it. So, Trouble Under Oz. And. Given that it is now the 28th of February, it is a leap year, so there is a 29th of February, um, but I don't have any books on order, so nothing is going to come tomorrow. I'm not going to get any books tomorrow, so I'm going to end this now. So, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.